Hi everyone. In today's class, we will be discussing about BCL6. That is B cell lymphoma type 6 marker, which is present in the endometria. Now, before I start, let me tell you. This is one of the markers which is very important to test for two things. Endometriosis, chronic pelvic pain and endometritis. All the three things. This guy is basically an indicator of something called as progesterone resistance. It indicates how much is the quantum of resistance of progesterone in that particular endometrium. Only then the BCL6 is going to be upregulated. Simple. High amount of BCL6 from an endometrium? Most probably there is some endometriosis somewhere. Does it detect the grade of endometriosis? The answer is no. Does it detect endometritis? The answer is yes. It detects it with combination with the other markers. Costly? Little bit for an Indian situation. But as I give you a brief of this video, I will be teaching you how can you do this test? When should you do this test? Can this test be commonly done by you in a research setting or in a clinical setting? What are the prerequisites? What should you tell the patient? And finally, what are your treatment options? So whenever we are trying to talk of BCL6, as I already told you, we are going to study it in the endometrium. It is going to be present in a slightly higher quantity in the endometrium, especially if somebody is having endometriosis and adenomyosis. Very important. I'll tell you how it works. There are so many patients in whom the adenomyosis is present here, subendometrial adenomyosis. So many patients in whom the adenomyosis is posterior wall adenomyosis, but it is small, you know. And in that situation, we are often worried and confused. Shall I treat or shall I not treat? When you do a BCL6 testing through an endometrial biopsy, that means you pass a small pipette, you take a biopsy and you do it on a great automated platform with immune histochemistry, that is IHC for BCL6, you will get something beautiful, which is called as an H score. Now, I don't really want you to get into the depth of H score because it is a lot of technical science as to how do we judge the H score. But as a patient, there is a formula to do this. It's a computerized formula. As a patient, remember H score more than 1.4 is usually going to indicate that some treatment will be required. We have other methods of looking at this as well. But yaar, uske mein zyada janne ke liye koi nahi. Just follow the basic guidelines. All right. As a patient. Now remember one thing. Once you have tested BCL6, the best time to test the BCL6 is in the second half of the cycle. It's not mandatory to be tested in the first half. The second half of the cycle is the best time a small pipel biopsy is taken and send it to a good referencing laboratory who should be able to give you good images with a good calculation because this is going to change your game. BCL6, as I mentioned, is going to be chronically elevated whenever the body is having something called as a progesterone resistance pathway. This pathway is highly active in endometriosis and adenomyosis and it is also active when a patient is having chronic endometritis. All of them are very, very big contributors to patients who have had recurrent abortions and recurrent implantation failures. That is why when you have more than three abortions or more than two IVF cycles failed, for God's sake, ek achhe reproductive specialist ko dikhana hai. You should show a good reproductive immune specialist. Let them go through your case in great details because what we will do is we will also do a detailed ultrasound not the routine ultrasound, a detailed ultrasound. Thoda sa expensive hai, but we will do that. And once we do that, we will give you an answer. Ye karna hai. And when we do BCL6 for that, we come up with a calculation score. So what do we do in clinical practice? We don't do BCL6 alone. We are going to be doing BCL6 plus uterine natural killer cells plus MUM1 plus interleukin 8 kite biopsy. And we combine all of this with your ultrasound images and tell you 
आपको एक्चुअल में करने का जरूरत क्या है वट एग्जैक्टली डू यू नीड टू डू टू गेट गोइंग Remember one thing, guys. Majority of the times, people may warrant a surgery in this. Sometimes we can give you tablets and injections to manage it medically. But what people think? If I do this and if something comes out, I just want tablets. That's not correct. There is one huge thing where this works, and that is very important. And that particular thing is something called as chronic pelvic pain. मतलब आपको पेट में दर्द है कंटिन्यूसली फॉर प्रोलॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम बट देर इज नो डायग्नोसिस साइलेंट एंडोमेट्रियोसिस इज ऑफन नॉट डायग्नोज बाय द बेस्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशंस एंड दैट इज वेयर दिस गाय बीसीएल सिक्स इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एवरी ईयर वी ट्रीट सो मेनी गर्ल्स विद क्रॉनिक पेल्विक पेन वी डू अ बायोप्सी देयर इज सम एंडोमेट्रियोसिस समवेयर वी टेक देम अप फॉर सर्जरी देयर इज एंडोमेट्रियोसिस इन द पेरिटोनियम दे गेट कंप्लीटली क्योर्ड after the surgery this is the advantage as a result of this patients with chronic pelvic pain should visit an endometriosis specialist get this tested and get going all right any more questions post in the comments mai aur meri team aapko answer karenge